Welcome everyone to transfer data from your old Pixel to your new Google Pixel 8. On the Pixel 8, you need to see the screen, welcome to your Pixel, and this is the setup screen. If you instead see the lock screen and you can go to the home screen, then you will need to factory reset your Google Pixel 8. And the first step to do this is you will need to open up the settings and in the settings I want you to scroll all the way down until you see system and then I want you to scroll to the bottom until you see reset options and then tap on erase all data tap on erase when prompted again and your Google Pixel 8 should factory reset. From here, we're gonna tap on get started on our Google Pixel 8. And on your old Pixel, you should have the option to set up. So let's tap on the blue setup button here and your old Pixel is going to connect to the Pixel 8. We now need to scan the QR code so we'll just scan the QR code. We'll enter our, uh, our biometrics on the old pixel. And what this will do is it will transfer the Wi Fi network and it will transfer your Google accounts from your old pixel to the pixel 8. This on its own will not transfer all of the data, but that will come later. We now see here connect to mobile network. If you have an eSIM, you will need to rescan the QR code. So you would tap on download eSIM and you would need to get a new QR code to scan from your carrier. If you are using a physical SIM card slot, then you it's recommended you insert the SIM card now, but you would not have to do it now. You can always download eSIM or insert a SIM later and I'm going to do it later personally, so I'm going to tap on skip and then skip again. We now need to set a pin in our Pixel 8. If you want a different lock, select screen lock options. So I'm going to do my pin and then I'm going to re-enter the pin. We now see set up fingerprint lock, scroll to the bottom and then tap I agree to set up a fingerprint or no thanks to not set it up. I'm going to tap on I agree and then start. So hold your thumb or any finger on the fingerprint icon and then release and this will do a scan. So hold for a little bit and then release and each scan Make sure you are slightly changing the position of your finger. I would recommend you use your thumb. So I'm just going to change the position every time. And there we go. The scan has been completed. To add another fingerprint, tap on add another. Or we can tap on next. You can add another fingerprint later on in the settings. We now see copy data. Let's tap on next. And now it's going to get everything ready. It is now going to scan your old pixel to check what data can be moved over. We now see here, choose what to copy. I would recommend you just leave everything ticked and then tap on copy. In my case, I'm going to untick apps and photos and videos just to reduce the transfer time. And then I'll tap on copy. So while the data is copying, we can continue the setup. Google services, do you want to have your data backed up to the cloud? And it can always be moved over. Me personally, I turn this one off. But if you want, you can leave this on. 
use location. Each app has to ask before using your location. So I'd recommend you leave that one on. Allow scanning. This allows Google to access your location even when you are offline. So I personally turn this one off, but it will improve location accuracy overall, but I haven't noticed really a difference. Send usage and data to Google. I turn this one off and then let's scroll to the bottom and I'll accept here. Warranty information. You just scroll down if you want to view warranty information for your country. I'm just going to tap on next. Continue setup. If you tap on continue, it will set up Google Assistant and Google Play. Me personally, I don't want to use those, so I'm going to tap on leave. You can always set up Google Assistant and Google Play later in the settings. Review additional apps. I'd recommend you get these extra apps, but if you don't want one, just tap the tick to turn it off and then we'll tap on OK. And now it's going to copy our data and patiently wait for the transfer to complete. Now we see here, copy and done. Let's tap on done. We now see here, swipe to navigate. If your old pixel has buttons, the new pixel uses swipe gestures. If you tap on try it, it will teach you how to use those gestures. If you already know, tap on skip. If you want to get the buttons back, tap on system navigation settings. And then tap free button navigation. And there we go, the buttons are back. And then either tap on home We'll swipe up and if we take a look here, you can see it moved the wallpaper. If we go to the messages, we can see the messages have been moved. If I wanted the photos to be moved, those would be moved as well. The Google account has been moved. You can see I'm signed in and everything looks great. So with that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.